Hey guys, it's X, and this is a game called Castle in the Darkness. Now, this is just a prologue for Castle in the Darkness, which is going to be coming out in full at some later point in the future. I honestly don't know too much about it. I played about a minute and a half of this game before I was defeated, and uh, I was like, okay, that was fun, so I'm going to go ahead and make a recording of it. Just a brief update. I went to the doctor. I got some antibiotics, I, so I'm taking medicine right now, so I'm feeling better. Uh, my voice is still not 100%, but... Uh, I really felt like recording this. I, I really shouldn't be using my voice right now. I probably shouldn't be doing this. But I felt like doing it. I really wanted to. Uh, I wanted to record something, play something, put it online, because I haven't been able to for a while. I've been putting up um, silent videos or music videos or footage that I've had stored in the pipeline, and I felt like actually creating something right now. So that's what this is about. So I decided to pick up Castle in the Darkness. A friend of mine showed this to me and said this could be interesting, and so I gave it a shot, and here it is. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so I don't know what this little option is. Yeah, question mark right here. And in the options section, you've got difficulty settings, what screen size you want. You can like a scanline screen effect to give you more of a classic feel if you want to. And I've got an X60, uh, Xbox 360 control pad control scheme set up right now, even though I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller uh, and a bit of software called um, DS3 Tool or something like that. What is this software actually called? Let me check. The software is actually called uh, Motion Enjoy. I didn't really need to check that, I just remembered. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay so you guys can see what this is all about. It's a little side-scroller game. This prologue is pretty much just a demo for the actual game itself. You can see I'm this little dude, got myself a little sword. That's all there is to it. You jump, you swing. Jump, swing. Or stab, really. Jump, stab. Alright, so let's go. Kill these little goombas with fangs. And I don't know why that block breaks, but it just does for some reason. And apparently this game has a lot of references and stuff in it. <clears throat> you can enter your doors by pressing up. Go up and talk to this old guy. He's like, what a horrible night to have a curse. You guys all know where that's from. Find a note here that says, Cats are the guardians of the underworld. I don't know where that's from, but you guys might. Bag of money. Just rob this old guy. You know, I find it strange how as a protagonist in so many games, as, as the good guy, I end up walking into random houses and stealing the occupant's positions. Little fire trapper. This is the guy that killed me last time. There we go. That was better. I'm doing a lot better this time already. So I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, that guy is creepy. All right, so this game wants to kill me. I want to go hit that thing, but I don't trust it one bit. Okay, <laughs> here we go. All right, so we got a door here. Oh, I'm on the upper level now. I guess I had to go through there. I didn't even realize it. All right, so I don't trust these spikes. Now the demo, the guy who made this game says uh, on the download page that the game is tough and that you should use a gamepad. The game is pretty tough. It killed me pretty early. Pretty early on. Okay, so that face just showed up for no reason and said nothing and left. So this door's locked. Oh. Skeleton swinging for ran at, uh, random things. Let's, ooh, I found 50 coins. And we got a pub. Let's go on inside. Little spike goombas are scary things. There's a lever up there. Yeah, through the wall, through the little gate. Man, that thing has got its eye on me. Drink some beer. Don't know what that does for me. Trying to knock this plant over. Not gonna work. Just now taking note of the background images. Well, I took note of the houses earlier, but. I was talking about the ones in the pub. Alright, I don't trust this at all. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, no! What the heck? Why? Ah! Okay. Oh, that was completely random that I decided to run up that way. Look at that guy over there. Hey, it's the Spelunky dude! Those spikes look like they're gonna fall on me from above. Yep. This cave was deeper. Yeah, that way you could go spelunking, huh? That guy's cool. Ah! It's a bubble crab. No, I left money behind. Skeleton. Wow, this music is like trying to get into my brain. Crab dude's so pissed off. Ow. 
It's a dragon! No, come back, dragon. I wish to stab you a lot. Okay, I've got low health now, so I've got to be careful. For a dragon, he wasn't that rich. I don't, know, I don't even know if he was a dragon. I couldn't really tell. Ooh. Goomba dropped a carrot. Skeleton up there was pulling like a Garen type spin to win thing. That face is still here. Cherry drop. Oh, he's following me. Why? You're so creepy, dude. But this music makes it like very easy to ignore the fact that you're very creepy. Leap west where the journey begins. Oh, really? I should have tried to jump left. Oh, like a save point? Eruption, charge, then release the attack button. <laughs> nice! Sweet, I've got a charge attack! That's kind of ridiculous. It just kind of throws up a bunch of useless fireballs. I ex fully expected that attack to kill that monster, but no, huh? Ah! Mario boos. Those look like. Ow! This is getting ridiculous. They're gonna keep spawning, aren't they? But apparently I've got the easy route. No! Those guys just attacked me for no reason. Alright, so you can see this is my second time actually not beating the game, so... I'm gonna go ahead and hit retry. The journey's gonna start here. It says Leap West. Oh, I got a secret key this time! And apparently the sound keeps playing. Oh, that secret key probably unlocks that locked door that we saw earlier. Alright, so let's hurry up and get back there. <clears throat> this will be fun. And I'm guessing the point here is to get the high score. In the prologue, at least. Again, this is just a demo for the full game that will be coming out at some point later. Alright, so now I'm kind of rushing around and I'm taking unnecessary damage as a result. And I don't have my charge attack anymore. <laughs> it would be really useful here. I'm sure later there will be like multiple. Hey, he's attacking this time! Why? I don't think he did that last time, did he? I don't remember. Okay, this is shortcut. Oh, I can't go the other way now. Oh, okay, yeah, that secret key is a shortcut. This is a different building. I see. I mean, it's, it's uh later in the stage. Oh, I fell on the spikes! No good! Alright, let's do that again. Here's the shortcut. There we go. Oh! Alright, let's take this one. Let's take this one a little bit slower. And actually not lose this time. Alright, so this guy's gonna drop a bunch of fire everywhere. I'll just wait for him to finish. Enter. Wah! Like a little spin attack he's doing up there. Nope! Whoa, that was so scary for me. Eh, yeah, doing a lot better this run. So your attack range is actually a little bit longer than... Look, there's eruption again. Your attack range is actually a little bit longer than the sword itself. Just a tad. Now we're back in business, ladies and gents. We're back in business. Take the low route this time. There's a door here. Can't get through there. Nice. <laughs> Such a useful ability to have here. Get away, ghost! Oh, look, a boss!
Oh! I got the frog sword. Nice! This guy is going to kick my ass. He's got a laser! I bet you that's a laser! I don't know what your attacks do, dude, but you hurt! Oh my gosh, that guy does so much damage! I can tell this game is going to be hard when it, when it releases. Oh, I forgot to pick up the shortcut key. Get away. That's okay. Gives us time to get more score. And we get to see the pub again. So I'm okay with that. Anything to stab more spike Goombas. And have some more beer. Mmm, delicious stuff. How do you stack fire on top of fire like that? Yes, yes, and here's where I can't get the money, and down I go! Uh, I don't think I'm actually gonna go talk to the Spelunky dude, because I'll just take damage if I go in there. Stupid crab. Ah. I'd really like to make it through here without taking any more damage. How many of you think that's gonna happen? <laughs> No, I'm just gonna skip him. Oh, that guy dropped like a popsicle. That was awesome. Popsicles are delicious. Alright, last time I entered there straight out, I didn't check what's this way. An inn. A locked door. I don't know how to... Uh, I wonder if I would've had the key if I would've just... I would've been able to open that. That's something worth checking out next time. Because I'm not going to survive the boss fight. I do like that you can swing as fast as you can press the button. There's no uh, timer. There's no cooldown. Man, they're dropping popsicles all over the place today. I can get behind that, that's good for me. This room's, this uh, particular area is not all that tough. It's actually tougher if you take the top route. Alright, Frogman. Give me your sword. That guy's smart, man. He knows to get right the hell out. Ah, stop it! Okay, obviously I've got to avoid his attacks first. Maybe destroy them. Nope. Ah! Confound it all to the Hades. All right. So this time, I'm gonna pick up the key, and now I'm gonna go for that in. I'm gonna skip all the unnecessary stuff. I'd like to get the high score, but I think just being able to beat the boss first is more of a priority. Ah! I keep forgetting about that. So I've got this special key, and I'm not going to take the shortcut. Hey, I just noticed it's the Zelda glove it's from uh, A Link to the Past. Little painting back there, you see it? Ah, the beer is like a full health restore. It's, it's very good. 
And down we go! Alright, so we're here at the end, and I do have the key, so I can actually use the key to get to the end this time. Hello. My name is Edna, and my husband's name is Daniel. Look at that look on Daniel's face. The cat's name is Guppy. Alright. Uh. Is that thing like the ruler of the underworld? Aw, it meows. What's up, Guppy? <laughs> yeah! This is amazing! Yeah, keep me eyeing, little dude! Yeah! What's over here? Nothing? <laughs> yeah! You're awesome! <laughs> that was cool. So there's nothing in this inn besides... Besides the giddy. He's just a little stupid kitty. These are probably references to something else that I have no clue what's going on. I don't know. Monty Python or something. I don't know. Normally when there's like some popular reference that I don't get, it's Monty Python. So, that's that. What was that? That's kind of weird. Oh, it's wherever there was fire last. Okay. I guess there was fire there earlier. I don't really remember. Alright, going for the boss again. Let's do it. I do wonder if this frog sword is a play on the Masamune from Chrono Trigger. Okay, so this guy's got a jump attack. That's horrible! Okay, apparently I can just assault him with this. All day long. Gotta attack the crystal on his head. Keep up with your attack. It works well for me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, patience. Patience. Be patient. I can do this. Here comes those stupid little balls of death thing. I think I got him this time. I can do this. Okay, balls of death. Yeah, that's right, buddy. I got your pattern down now. Aw. Three hit points on him. Three hit points. One hit point left. Just gotta dodge one more attack. Gotcha. Didn't even need the frog sword. what I'm talking about right there. Uh, Goombas, uh, frogs, tiger boss. Uh, what's going on? Ah. Oh. It's just a nightmare. Or was it? Princess! Wait. 
It sounded like a cat meowing. That didn't sound like a princess yelling. Uh oh, I see what's going on here. This prologue was all just a dream to teach you about the game before the actual game comes out when you're supposed to save the princess. Very nice. Good job, Madcap. Testers. Aww. They both got tired. Look at them. They're both all tuckered out. Yeah, oh, special thanks to the game station. I wonder if game station is the game station? Full game coming in early 2013. Very good to know. Alright, bye little dude. Thanks for the cool prologue. Alright, so this was the prologue to Castle in the Darkness. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. I figured it was going to make a very quick little video, so it worked out for me. Um, if you want to get the game, the link to get it is in the video description. Of course, you can keep up to date on the game by following Matcap there on Twitter, and the website that I link in the video description should also have information on the game as it gets developed or whenever it's ready to be released or whatever. Uh, then again, I can't speak for him, so I don't know for sure. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.